we got Kenya and Brooklyn on vacation. Check y'all out. Is that a Brooklyn bridge behind you? <laughs> She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up, my friend? I love sisters, friend. I'm coming to you all from the Latina News. She's an icon. She's a legend, and she is the moment. Have y'all been looking at the blogs? It has been some drama on the blogs. They have been, you know, it's been a little messy, messy um, things back and forth between people. I don't want to say if you ain't been watching it, you've been missing it. Uh, Kenya texted me yesterday. She was like, I miss you. I was like, I miss you too. But I was just like, it's so funny because everybody's like, okay, Candy, how do you feel? You're not feeling now. You're not feeling it. And it's like, I'm actually good. <laughs> I mean, of course, I love the girls, you know, I do, you know, think about, okay, maybe later on, because Cynthia said, I'm going to miss it later on when the show airs and they all promoting it and everything. Maybe, maybe later on, I'm going to feel sad or something. I don't know. Right now, I'm enjoying my best life. And of course, the drama on the blogs that Candy is referring to is Portia Williams and her son to be ex-husband, Simon Hotness of a divorce that's going on and social media have a front row seat. If you miss all of the videos I've done so far, please go to the RHA playlist to get caught up. Now, the reason why I started with that shorter clip from her Amazon Live six days ago is because I did receive a few DMs about Candy and Kenya Moore friendship and if something was going on. So yes, my commentary on that but as you can see candy just shut that down because she said can you text her i miss you and so they are cool people on social media pay attention to patterns and when you're no longer doing things that they notice you used to do then they start jumping to conclusion and making assumptions for example when cynthia bailey was married to mike hill it was always hashtag chill or when they were together people noticed a pattern that she stopped posting him a lot she stopped leaving comments liking photos and things like that and then they were right when they announced their divorce because they could tell due to their social media interaction or when someone unfollows someone on social media and people are like "Ooh." They don't follow each other. Something is wrong, okay? Whereas you have to pay attention to the type of person. Kenya Moore is not a social media person. She's not on there every single day. She's barely on social media. Every now and again, she would pop in and out. Kenya Moore hair care. Kenya Moore hair spa. But then she's off that thing. So when people notice that she did not post candy on her birthday on social media, I was like, Kenya have candy number personally. So if Kenya was out of the country doing her thing, which I posted about, I'm sure she called Candy personally and said happy birthday. Yes, Kenya posted Candy the year before and the year before and the year before and I have the images and post on the screen. Kenya always support Candy at her different events, the Wiz and different things that Candy is doing. But just because she didn't do a whole collage or a post on social media doesn't mean they're no longer not friends. They're not cool. You know, I got DMs. Ooh, Vina, you know, there's something going on. What's happening? She didn't even post her for her birthday. What's this big deal in my DMs? Well, yeah, I can relax. They are still cool. And after the Amazon Live six days ago that I posted where you heard Candy saying that Kenya text her, that, you know, I miss you and all of that. Here's Candy Amazon Live from two days ago, having a similar conversation about Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey. So they're cool. Guys, drop in the chat below. If you did something fun this holiday weekend, tell me what you did. Because, honey, I want to get in your business. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Okay? Is it time for Swives Tea? Housewives Tea. I know we talk about this all the time. So y'all know I'm not on Housewives no more. But I'm still friends with all of them, so nothing, ma nothing major. Um, 
briefly talked to Kane this weekend. Cynthia, I talked to Cynthia last night. She gave me a whole earful. Caught me up on all the things. But the one thing they both said is that they missed me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cynthia was like, it just didn't feel right without you there. Now, listen, I don't know if they just be lying to me to gas me up. But hey, it, uh, it still feel good to be missed, right? <laughs> Um, and today, I was, me and Shamia are supposed to be um, eating dinner or something later. So, yeah, we're, I mean, yeah, everybody's always catching me up on the scoops. So, <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I got for you this week. Next week, I'll probably tell you a little more. The I was lost without you moment. The only difference is they never stopped being friends. So let's get into Candy personal life update and she said happy belated birthday what did you do i think i talk about it i talked about it a little bit last week on my live but basically my husband he always plans the best gifts and everything right so last week um for my birthday not yeah i for four days we went island hopping on a yacht he took me on a trip so well actually the day of my birthday, I got an award in New York. I got an award on the um, at the Drama League Awards. And I told you guys last week on the live, it was so cool. I still haven't posted the footage yet, but it was some of the biggest names in Hollywood were there and they all sang happy birthday to me. So that was awesome. That was on my birthday. Then the following day, my husband, he flew us out to St. Martin, and we got on a yacht, and we took the yacht. We was in St. Martin. We went to St. Bart's. We went to Anguilla. They had a staff on the boat. They had chefs. So, you know, I ate my heart out. And you know what? Somebody was on my husband's uh, Instagram talking about how fat I had gotten. <laughs> they said, candy been eating good. Well, I have. I have, and I had, and I am, and tomorrow I'm I'm turning over a new leaf. I am about to bring it back down. But yes, I enjoyed life on my birthday, and I hope you guys are enjoying your life, okay? What's up, y'all? Just waking up. Uh, this big rock, big rock. Now we are in St. Bart's. Yesterday we was in St. Martin. Um, so yeah, we just kind of bouncing around, trying to see what is what's going on. It's so calm. Mm. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's check on Candy. Let's see what she's about to have for breakfast. Babe, what are you having right now? Mm-hmm. What's that, dragon fruit? Mm-hmm. Why you put me on? You ain't wanna be on? <laughs> you have a little dragon? This a little dragon. She having some dragon fruit. Yeah, that's pretty. It's very nice. Yeah. Little island hopping. Man, listen, men do not care, okay? If they think you look pretty in that moment, they're posting it. Candy over there in the back of her mind thinking about this is going to make the blog pages. I don't have my makeup on. I don't look flawless. What are you doing? And after she said that, look at what he posted. Absolutely. I don't care. You're sleeping. You look peaceful. You look beautiful to me. And I'm posting it on social media. So, yeah, men do not care. And this comment is spot on. I can hear her now, really, babe. Now, why are you gonna post me like that? And we out here, we out here. It was Candy's 48th birthday. Um, look how pretty this is. Wow. Good. Yeah, just island out here, Candy. Let's go. Candy was on Amazon Live for both days for almost an hour, but I've been dropping 30 minutes videos here, over 20 minutes videos here on this whole Portia and Simon mess. 
then I believe that you all deserve a shorter video just focusing on the alliance. Remember, oh, Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia have an alliance. And now there's no more peach in candy hand, and they are all still cool. When Cynthia Billy wasn't there, even though she and Kenya had a moment from the Ultimate Girl Strip, you all know the history there. But they became cool again, and everybody is doing good. So there's no alliance there, but sisterhood, if you know, you know. So I'm going to keep this video short, sweet, to the point. The sisterhood and also Candy celebrating her birthday that I meant to post a while ago, but I never got around to posting it. And you all know that I do not throw away my work. So whenever I see the opportunity to include the work that I was working on, I will. And I just did. So Candy had an amazing birthday. She's doing great in her life. I will be back with a separate Amazon Live that just focus on her career updates, her children, her husband, and everything else she got going on outside of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.